Earth, the blue planet, warm and hospitable for the past 11,000 years. But how much longer will that last? Imagine our world in the not too distant future. Temperatures may plummet. In parts of the northern hemisphere, the temperature drops to minus nine degrees Fahrenheit. For the first time in 200 years, ice forms on the River Thames in London. Then the bottom falls out of the thermometer. At 13 degrees below, public transportation fails. As 10 feet of snow falls, roads become impassable for all but snowmobiles. Those caught outside are freezing to death. Buildings collapse under the weight of snow and ice. The infrastructure crumbles and society struggles to survive. Could this be a vision of our future? Today, our peaceful climate bathes fertile lands in warm weather, allowing civilization to flourish. But it hasn't always been like that. The Earth follows a cycle of freezing ice ages, followed by warmer interglacial periods. Recent centuries have been kind to humankind. The last 10,000 years have seen just one major cooling. But this could all change. Some scientists now suspect that the stable climate of the past was not so stable after all. They believe the Earth can suddenly plunge into micro ice ages or giant freezes lasting as long as a thousand years with devastating blizzards crippling our cities and destroying crops. Terrifyingly, this new freezing climate could hit us far sooner than we think, with little or no warning. This may sound like scaremongering, but the people of Montreal have already had a tiny taste of just how deadly a giant freeze can be. January 5th, 1998. Temperatures suddenly drop to 15 degrees and a violent ice storm strikes, coating the city in freezing rain. This thriving metropolis becomes a frozen, barren wasteland. Living through this icy disaster is journalist Alan Hustak. Hustak returns home from work as a power outage strikes the city. Something all too familiar to the residents of snowy Montreal. The first evening was kind of like a carnival. You uh, lit the fireplace and lit the candles and knew that tomorrow everything will get back to normal and then of course tomorrow it didn't. It's very far from normal and getting far worse. Over the next five days, a massive storm dumps four inches of freezing rain on Montreal. It falls as water, but freezes on impact to build up layers of solid ice. Its weight crumples electrical towers. The city buckles. Up to 1.4 million homes have no power. The ice storm exposes the Achilles heel of modern cities, our total reliance on technology. We are so used in a large North American city of three and a half million to having your television, having your microwave, having your uh, computers, and it was gone in an instant. It was gone in an instant. It's five icy days and freezing nights before power finally returns to Montreal. The damage totals more than two and a half billion dollars. Thirty people die. 
It destroys over 3,000 electricity towers and all but one line or grid feeding the city. Hustak believes the situation could have been a lot worse. We were left with one grid, and had that grid gone down, the city would have had to have been evacuated because we would have been without electricity for two or three months. It's a scary lesson for everyone living in a modern city, thinking ourselves safe in the warmth of our homes. The ice storm that made Montreal citizens burn their furniture just to stay alive lasts barely a week. Imagine what would happen in a giant freeze, one that lasts for years. Picture your own city covered in ice, not just for days, but for weeks, maybe months, or even a lifetime. Is this a true vision of the future? Scientists are piecing together a clearer picture of how our climate has behaved over the last 160,000 years. And it's not a comforting image. To understand what might cause a big freeze, we must look at the bigger picture and discover what drives our planet in and out of ice ages over millions and millions of years. Normally, our planet swings rhythmically between cold ice ages and warmer periods that scientists call interglacials. It's the Earth's rotation around the Sun that causes these swings in and out of ice ages. Earth's orbit is far from simple. It varies in a number of complex ways. Most importantly, in the shape of the orbit. It's not always a perfect circle. Through a cycle lasting about 100,000 years, the orbit goes from being almost round to being stretched into an oval shape and back to almost round again. In the more elliptical orbit, we travel three million miles further away from the sun. Less sunlight reaches the Earth and an ice age is born. But this vast astronomical cycle causes large temperature swings that are slow and predictable. Today we live in a warm interglacial period. Eventually, Earth's orbit will alter once again, and a new ice age will freeze us, but not for another 10 to 20,000 years. But if you think you're safe from the cold, think again. New research suggests that our climate is far less predictable and far more unstable than we ever thought possible. This new vision was revealed by geologist Richard Alley. The climate sometimes jumps out and surprises us. Sometimes it tips over, sometimes it flips a switch. And it's not always nice and smooth and easy to predict. Alley's passion is frozen H2O. He is one of the world's leading experts on ice. He studies the climate by collecting deep samples of ice, called ice cores. ICE stores a treasure trove of data about the climate of centuries past. Every year as snow falls, it forms a layer of ice on the surface of ice sheets and glaciers. Each annual layer of ice remains on the surface until it is covered up by the following year's snowfall. Over thousands of years, these layers build up one on top of the other. The deeper the layer, the older the ice. To access this ancient ice, scientists